this is the moment of truth. Claude Code has built this app for me, uh, completely vibe coded. I haven't looked at any of the actual files that it's created. I did mess up when I first tried to build this because I tried to do it with Cloudflare workers and it didn't work. Next.js just can't um, work there properly or I couldn't get it to work properly. So I switched back to just hosting this the normal way using the cell. So we can have subscribers. I have one of them, my email address, and we can have campaigns, which I've created here. I can edit this campaign. You can see the, the campaign name, the subject line. I can customize the from and reply to. I've also got HTML template here, which I can switch to markdown if I want to. Um, I'll probably fix that up at some point because it originally was marked down to HTML. So, but it's got variables, name, email, unsubscribe link, all that kind of good stuff. So in theory, if I click send, this should send it. And then this sent count should go to one undefined. No idea what that means, but it has been sent. So let's go to my email and it's popped up in my promotions tab, which is not the worst thing in the world. I mean, I can easily just drag this over to primary. Let's see formatting. Very nice mail address. Perfect email, my email address, unsubscribe link, and then cheers, Ian. This is pretty good. Let's try the unsub link. Click that. Unsubscribe successful. So back in my app here now, we should be able to go over here and see unsubscribed. So all of this is built by Claude Code and it walked me through the entire step. Let me bring you out this document here real quick. Uh, so you see here, it wrote this entire document of how to set up um, Amazon Web Service SES. This is in the old project that I messed up and had to rebuild, but it walks you through every single step of how to create a user, to create the policy. It's a bit laborious. It's a bit painful to do, but it wasn't that difficult in the end. The hardest part was trying to get it to work with Cloudflare. And when I scrapped that, it was pretty quick. It tells you how to enable DKIM, verify your domain, set up all the DNS stuff. Now I actually already had, was already out of the sandbox. But apparently I, I did this years ago. I must have had this idea so many times and then just never followed through with it. But it all seems to be working already so I can send emails. It talks about setting up the notifications for bounces and complaints so we can track those in the app as well and make sure we don't keep sending them to people that have marked them as complaints or that have had a bounced email. All information about trying to move out of the sandbox and how you can limit we could all add this we could add this into the app so we could slowly start to warm up an ip or warm up our email domains so it's a full document here and this is all done in cloud code i didn't do any of the research here this is all irrelevant because it's amazon d1 stuff uh, but that's it it's pretty much good to go now i can start to work on this a bit more and make it look a bit tidier and clean up some of the UI and, and stuff, but this is a pretty good start. And the last bit we check here, it's cost me less than a hundred dollars to do this in Claude code, uh, in Claude tokens, but actually I'm paying $200 a month. So it hasn't, but this is how much it would have cost me had I built this without having the max plan. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this has gone. And I'm going to keep riffing on this and try and build something for myself. I'm not going to share. I'm not going to publish this. This is not going to be a, a, a software product that I'm going to sell. This is just going to be for me. But yeah, if you have any questions, hit me below.